There are definitely a few no-nos when it comes to engaging with influencers. Number one, let's start with your tone. The tone that you use to address the influencer. This shouldn't be too familiar, but remember to always be polite and helpful. Number two, avoid spelling and grammar mistakes. This could instantly put an influencer off working with you. So double check your messages before you send them and that way you can avoid any of those errors. Number three, don't pester influencers. If you don't hear from them, you can follow up once, but if they then don't reply, assume they're not interested. Influencers are often very busy, but they don't like to be pestered. Let's look at a few more. Don't miss out on sharing influencer content when it goes live. So if an influencer posts a video about your pub, hopefully you'll receive a notification because they've tagged you, or you might even wanna ask them when they plan to put their reviews live. This way you can then share that content instantly as a story, or if you want to, you could download the video and repost it to your own feed, but just make sure that you tag them in. Like in this example, Gordon's Wine Bar has used an influencer's video on their main feed and they've tagged in the user, Lady Anderson, in the caption there. You can download a video from TikTok by holding down your finger on the video and clicking save. This ability is also coming out on Instagram soon, so keep an eye out for that. But if you can't use those features, then you could use an app like Save Talk for TikTok, which allows you to save any video that you see, download that onto your phone so that you can easily repost it. Consider making posts collaborative. So a collaborative post on Instagram means it will appear on both your feed and the influencer's feed at the same time. This is great for additional reach. So in this example, you can see that both of the names of the creators appear at the top of the post as well as both logos. And this means that the post will get a huge amount of reach compared to what it might have just done um, on your own pub's Instagram. So ask the influencer if they're up for making the post collaborative once they have put it live. And finally, don't forget to follow up and thank your influencers for visiting and encourage them to give you some feedback as well about their experience.